back to my world. <clears throat> now, um, I've been working on a few red redstone and scoreboard contraptions uh, based on a lot of the questions you you guys have been asking me. And um, the one I kind of really want to show you today uh, is a fully in-game programmable uh, countdown and count up clock. Right, so I can count up to any amount I want, so I can leave it running, or I can have a specific amount, or I can actually program it to count down from any uh, amount of time. <clears throat> so, for example, you'll see over here, I've got my uh, my timer, so if I hit this button, it'll actually count up, so let me just quickly really reset, I'm just going to really reset my timer, okay? So, if I hit the timer, you'll see that on the right-hand side, it now counts up, okay? The moment I hit the stop button okay it'll stop and if I hit the countdown button okay it'll now actually count down from uh, yeah from wherever it was that I was the moment it reaches zero <coughs> it'll just stop okay so I mean this is very very useful in for various number of things mini games and so forth um, I just played finished a walls game where they actually had separate maps for different times where now you could actually just go up program the map as time any time you want however long you want now this is how you actually program the the countdown timer you can add one second so if you can add add one two three four five you can add five seconds 20 seconds 60 seconds so let's say which really um i'm going to do a quick mob game so i'm quickly going to kill some zombies and i'm just going to put 45 seconds on the clock so I can go 20 or I can go one two three four uh, uh, just go 40 and 45 let's do 45 seconds okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit spawn the mob start spawning the mobs so the mobs should now start spawning and I'm going to do once they start spawning I'm going to do there we go so I'm going to do the countdown oh let me just put myself in game mode equals zero so Okay, you'll see it starts counting down, and here they come. Okay, so I can now kill them. So you'll see what I've got set up. Uh, I've set it up that the moment it reaches zero, it changes the difficulty of the game um, to, to zero. So it puts it into peaceful mode, which will make all of these mobs then um, disappear, go away. So I think the reason the mobs aren't spawning, so no, there's some more, is because it's turning to day. So if I... Uh, time set night, so maybe too, too late for this. Um, oh, there we go. My time is up. Okay, see, my time was up and it's they stopped spawning. <coughs> Sorry, let me just turn this off. Okay, so that, that really is as simple as it. Now, the way this works is that I have uh, one part that is actually acts as the timer so one objective so one scoreboard objective is acts as the timer and then i have another scoreboard objective that acts as the uh, control for it so you'll see over here when i do timer i actually set a dummy objective called start to one which tells my main mechanism that if you see start equals one you need to add start adding okay uh, the countdown. Oh, is, oh. Now the countdown is start uh, is start two, so it sets it to two. Uh, the mechanism sees that it's a two, and it'll start counting down and not up anymore. Okay, and to stop it, we just set the start to zero. So we set the start objective to zero. And the way these work, they literally they just add five to to the ti to the timer objective or 20 or 60 or one whichever the one it is that you want okay let me just get back into uh, game mode equals one okay and then over there this is the timer now the reason it looks quite complicated is because there's a number of things running off one clock so what we have is these two blocks over here okay so the one on on that side there and the one on this side here is what checks to see whether it should be counting up or down. So if we, if you have a look, it checks to see if the start is two. If it is, it'll unlock this locked piston. Ugh, not locked piston. <laughs> unlocked repeater. It'll unlock the repeater, and uh, it'll then start activating this 
this uh, command block which uh, uh, removes one from the timer so this and then it'll start counting down this one over here checks to see if it's one if it is one turns off uh, this torch which unlocks uh, this repeater which then starts counting up okay um, so yeah this is just a very very basic uh, hopper clock it's roughly about one second um, so basically you just have them pointing to each other like like so and then you just drop any item in them and you'll see it'll flash in and out the whole time you add a uh, comparator on the one side and e any one one of the sides and you will get a signal out from it there we go so you'll see I'm kind of running a lot of things out of this whole clock so now that I've slightly broken it down these these two blocks add and subtract this block here and this block here test to see uh, what it is that that should should happen and then the blocks over here this one tests to see um, what the final score is so if it counts down so if the timer equals zero okay what it will do it will then activate so you can see that it is zero it then activates this particular command block which then just sets the difficulty to zero okay which so that's what made the zombies go away and then um, it sets the start to zero as well so it just kind of resets the whole the whole thing right <coughs> you can specify anything here. You can say, um, sorry, in this one over here, you can say if the scoreboard reaches minus 10, you know, do this command. So whatever you put in here is when it will activate the next action. Now, it can be any action at all. So, for example, if it was, for example, the walls, if it's hyperpixels walls, um, if, it's, if the timer reaches zero, activate the, uh, the pistons that drops the walls okay what you can then also do is you can count up so let me just quickly do go and start start the timer ru running so um let me just quickly get this started so if i hit this button you should see it should now start up now i've set this to actually notify me when 60 sec seconds is up now you can set this to anything okay anything anything at all so what i've done here i said test for at score timer minimum 60 so the score needs to at least be 60 okay so it needs to be 60 seconds before it then uh, actually stops working so you'll see that i've got it running on the side there so once uh, it reaches 60 it'll turn on the following command block which uh, then will actually announce that one minute has passed and then the next thing it will do, it will then also set the start to zero. So it'll actually stop the clock uh, at the 60 second mark. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this this really, it looks slightly complicated, but it is actually quite simplistic in its its use. It's very small as well to to other kind of designs that uh, that's that's doing round out there. Okay, we're about to hit 60. There we go. So we hit 60. 60 and we got uh, one minute has passed okay cool guys that's really all I'm going to show you today um, this world is not yet available for for download it will be towards the middle of the week when I've completed the rest of uh, the tutorials that's in here so yeah keep, keep watching and eventually this world will be for download and you can just copy and paste and use this as uh, as much as you want guys Thanks very much for watching and as always I will catch you all later.